Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another Dying Light 2 video. So the last video I made about Dying Light 2 duplication glitch no longer works after the latest patch 1.8.1. But you don't have to worry because there is a workaround to that glitch. So yes, you can still duplicate if you follow this trick that I'm about to show you guys in this video. It's exactly like the previous glitch but with an extra step. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you love these kinds of videos and do leave a like and comment because it helps the channel grow. Alright, now let's do the trick. So we'll start the trick by getting the weapon we want to duplicate. For this video, I'll be duplicating my katana that we get from harper now something important what you need to do is equip the weapon that you want to duplicate so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna equip the katana in one of the slots do remember if the weapon is not equipped then you won't be able to duplicate it so make sure you have it equipped the whole time during this trick all right now we have a katana equipped in one of the slots now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on top of the vnc tower so go ahead and take the elevator and now chill while it takes ages to go up and then come at this location Once you're at this location, you need to look down and find this building with the crane. And yes, that's where we need to go. Also, just for your reference, this is the place on the map. Now, don't waste any more time and jump and quickly open your paraglider at the correct time. Time it correctly so you can glide and reach the crane properly. Once you're here at this location, you can come down a bit until you reach this location where you find a UV shroom. Also, remember, if you already unlocked the easter egg, then you can skip to this time that you see here on the screen. But if this is your first time, then you need to activate the easter egg by holding the button that you see displayed on the mushroom. On PC, it's telling me to press and hold F to turn it on. So I'm gonna do that until the mushrooms are multiplied. After this again I'll press and hold the button until more mushrooms appear. Keep doing this multiple times until you get an option to finally use it. Now this is when you start the Baba Yaga challenge. But before you start it make sure the weapon you want to duplicate is still equipped. In my case it's the katana and I have it equipped. Now that I've made sure that I have it equipped I can finally start the challenge. Now as soon as the challenge starts you need to go a bit forward and then get off the broomstick. And to do that properly you need to get off the broom by selecting an empty slot. So use the wheel and select any empty slot to get rid of the broomstick. After that you can press the kick button just like I did or simply glide down to this first floating rock you see in front of you. Now that you've landed safely you can go ahead and open your binoculars. Yes open the binoculars and look towards the building. By doing that you will actually get an option to open the map. Yes look at the bottom right screen when you open the binoculars and move the camera around you will actually get an option to open the map. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now after you're done opening the map, just switch to the inventory section and finally it's time to do the trick. So as soon as we enter the inventory section, we'll see that the weapon we had equipped is still there in the inventory. So in my case, my katana is still there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drop the katana from my inventory and after you have done dropping the katana, you will need to exit out of the inventory. So drop the weapon you wanna duplicate and quickly exit out and cancel the challenge. Now once you cancel the challenge, you will realize that you've spawned back on top of the crane. So go ahead and open your inventory once more. Now as soon as you open the inventory, you will start dropping the weapon you wanted to duplicate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start dropping the katana because that's what I wanted to duplicate. Now as soon as you start doing that, you will realize the glitch is working when you keep dropping the weapon but the weapon does not go away from your inventory. That's when you realize the glitch is working. So once you have dropped enough of it, you can exit out of the inventory and grab all the weapon you just duplicated. So I'm gonna grab all the duplicated items and once I've grabbed it, I will quit to the main menu to save my game. Yes, if you don't want to lose the weapons, make sure to grab it all and quit to the main menu to save it. After that, just simply load back in the game and enjoy your duplicated weapons. Now, a few things to note here. The duplication glitch now only works with the weapons. So if you want to duplicate medkits or consumables, then I'm so sorry because you can't do that with this trick. And that's because the latest update has added a lot of restrictions with these challenges. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to Draco Place for finding this alternate duplication glitch. His channel link will be in the description, so do check him out. So guys, that's how you duplicate in Dying Light 2. I have duplicated quite a lot of weapons, but I'm still trying to find a way to duplicate the consumables and throwables. So guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, we'll have the trick out very soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay safe and stay human.